Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We started our journey by learning about the operators in the last episode. The first operator that we explored in RxJS was OFF operator. OFF operator is an operator used for creating an observable from an array, string or an object. Today we are going to learn about the second operator today which is from operator. We'll learn all about it with different use cases and get a basic foundation understanding. Then we'll do some hands-on. Let's get started. This is part six of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. I'm planning close to 30, 35 tutorials in this. Uh, make sure to let me know if you have any certain operators you want me to cover for you. Please do subscribe and please do ask your doubts in the comment section so that I can help you. The next, today the operator we are learning is from operator. So from operator will create an observable from an array or an array like object, a promise or an iterable object or an observable like object. Now the here is the thing that you have to remember. From operator will create an observable from an array or array like. That means it cannot take direct string. It will give you error. For that, we use OFF operator that we learned in the last episode. Remember, whenever you have an array as an input, plain array, and you want to get observable out of it, you can use FROM operator. A lot of people will confuse FROM operator and OFF operator. This I'm covering it in the next episode, so make sure you stay tuned for that also. For today, let's focus on FROM operator and let's do some hands-on use cases on it. Let's get started. All right, so just a quick recap. We created an array last time and we used off operator and we passed that array to off and it created a observable. Using off operator, we can also pass a string like this and we were also able to pass an object. Okay, today we will learn about from operator. So here I'm, I'm let's going to say orders is an array observable that's why I'm adding dollar sign. That's a good practice to always add that. And I'm saying this is of type string. Observe orders is of type string. Okay. But that will come from. So here now we have to get quickly import from RxJS. So if you see here from got imported from RxJS. Now here we'll pass values. So the first value we'll pass is pass some data that you want. I'm going to start using some good ones for you. Okay. So here, this is just a method, right? So again, no, sorry. Okay. So here we are going to pass, uh, say department, right? So I'm going to pass um, fashion. So we'll start adding slowly and making it look like a real application use cases going forward. So we'll see that. Okay. Fashion, electronics, mobile, household. Okay. So these are some of the categories, let's say, or orders from that. Now, if you see here, I'm passing an array. This is an array, right? So you can say here orders. Okay. So I have a orders array and here I'm saying I'm passing array to my observable and I will create a observable out of this particular array using from operator. Okay. Now a lot of times people get confused that should we use off? Should we use from? We'll see that in the next episode. So for now understand that you pass an array and you can make an observable using from operator. Now this is a observable that we got so we have to subscribe to it because without subscribing observable is useless so now you see here i have this is my observable i have subscribed i'll get data over a period of time and it would give me all this data so it will convert an array into an observable which we can subscribe and get our data So you can see here fashion, electronics, mobile, household, right? It's giving one by one, right? Now, if I have to show you again how it works in real time, 
I can just create this dot order name is equal to data and I'm going to define this order name as a string order name as a string here and in my UI template I'm going to say it ENG if order name then display order name okay so now it would directly show you the name household and like I told you I will use set timeout okay and we can put a set timeout here set or set interval and we'll do a callback and we will assign that every three seconds there should be a new data that should be emitted okay now see this it will wait for the first three seconds before I get the value and it would directly give the value but if you want on every next right so we can set an interval and check if the data has changed and then get the data back we'll do that using again operator that we have so stay tuned for that we will we will do that or I can say um, we can add it here and we can say value instead of that I can also subscribe to the subscribe next and error and void any data okay so what we can do is we can will I'll do that in the next episode for now I don't want to confuse you just put for data for now I'm going to use um, interval and other things to show you that operators as well all right so understand that from operator will take an array or an array like object okay I said array like not just um, any value so if you try to pass a string or something it will result in error so remember always pass array to from operator okay and that is what will give you an observable which is from basically it will create an observable from an array that's the simplest I can explain it to you all right so hope uh, this is clear to you and you are able to now use both of operator and from operator let me know if you have any doubt because the best way to learn is to start coding with me so start coding along and see these things because going forward I'm going to add a lot of different operators together and make them work so it, you should know each operator very well in the next uh, episode I'm going to quickly touch base upon the difference between from operator and off operator and I'm going to show you some use cases of where you should use from, where you should use off operator. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode where we will continue learning about the operators. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.